wanted to tell you guys that I have started to lay down coats of primer on our new PPE transmission pan and our PPE differential cover. So those do have primer on them. As of right now, they're sitting in the back of the truck in the boxes. And I also want you guys to comment down below what color you think the transmission pan and the differential cover from Pacific Performance Engineering are going to be. What color am I going to paint those before I put them on the truck? Leave your guesses down below, and if anybody guesses the color right, then I'll send you out a blue collar built key tag as a little prize for getting the uh, getting the correct answer. And for anyone who's new or might not have seen these when I revealed them back in the spring, we do have blue collar built key tags that will be available for you guys to purchase here very soon. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video here on the channel. We are actually going to start this one off with a huge thank you to Bulletproof Hitches for checking out the channel and believing enough in what we have going on over here here to send us out a beautiful hitch for the 4th Gen Cummins. I actually received the Bulletproof hitch in the mail last weekend and filmed my initial reactions to it, the whole unboxing process and installing it on the Cummins. So we are gonna edit that up and cut to it in just a second. But before I did that, I just wanted to film a brief intro so that you guys weren't left in the dark or just kinda thrown into a video not knowing what the hell was going on. But okay, enough out of me. Let's cut to that video right now and let you check out this beautiful Bulletproof hitch. We are headed off to Tractor Supply right now so that we can pick up a pin and get our bulletproof hitch installed on the 6.7 Cummins. I can't wait to get this thing installed and be able to put it to the test, hauling our job trailer around and making some tow videos for you guys here in the near future. So that is some content that will be coming your way soon enough as soon as i am able to get hooked up to the trailer we'll be able to take the truck out haul with it and see how it does compared to the old second gen 59 liter but i'm going to tell you right now that the 2016 will blow the 01 away by leaps and bounds just for the simple fact that the engineering of this truck is a hundred percent different than what that of the 5.9 was with the suspension setup and all that which we'll go over in other videos here I have some other video ideas that I want to get doing here in the pretty soon hopefully talking about the different designs in the engineering of this truck compared to the old truck and not to state the obvious but we also have quite a bit larger power plant underneath the hood on this truck than we did on the old 01 with the 5.9 liter. I'm gonna get over to Tractor Supply so I can pick up a pin and we can get that bulletproof hitch installed on the truck. And then I also need to pick up some wrapping paper and a gift bag for my little one's birthday presents. We're celebrating her birthday today. It's actually tomorrow, but we're gonna celebrate her birthday and do all of that stuff now while everybody has some time off. And then later on in the day, we'll be able to go over the bulletproof hitch a little bit further and show you that a little bit more up close and show you what you get when you purchase a hitch from bulletproof hitches. I'm gonna tell you right up front, this hitch is a beast. It is absolutely stunning and beautiful. And uh, you guys, you buy a hitch from them, you will not be let down. I got the pin from Tractor Supply so that we can get the bulletproof hitch installed onto the truck. I am currently headed back to the house right now for some birthday festivities. Happy birthday, Emmy. Mom and dad love you very much. I'll see all you guys in a little bit and we'll get the hitch installed on the truck and go over everything that you get when you purchase from Bulletproof Hitches. Birthday festivities are done and over and we are out in the garage right now looking at this Bulletproof Hitch to give you guys the rundown on what this thing is. This is an eight inch drop hitch and what you get in this package or any of the other drop hitch packages is a two and a half inch solid steel shank right here that slides into your receiver. Have your two 5 8 holes drilled in it right there and a good two and a half to three inches of solid steel behind them which will fill the whole receiver tube on your truck. The welds on this sucker are beefy. Holy welding, whoever welds these things, man. They do a beautiful job. This here is a half inch, I believe, gusset that connects your solid steel shank to the actual channel 
that allows you to make the adjustments with your ball or one of the many other attachments that are available on Bulletproof Hitch's website. So this is all just welded into the back of the channel and to your shank here to just give it rigidity and make it sturdy so that it can hold up to the weight class of 22,000 pounds that this thing is capable of pulling behind a truck. They have a whole diagram on the website that shows you where the mounting points are for different drop sizes. For an 8 inch drop, which I need on my truck, we will have the balls mounted all the way down in these bottom two holes. But let's talk about those for a second. So obviously this whole setup just sits right inside the channel and then you have these nice corrosion resistant pins that are supplied with the hitch and they go right through and you just use your cotter pin or your R clip here and secure them in the channel. Just like the shank on the actual hitch, this is just another solid steel shank with these plates welded to the sides to fit inside the channel. And then you have a two inch and a two and five sixteenths inch ball mounted on each side of it so that you can literally within 10 to 15 seconds time span, flip that sucker around for different size couplers on trailer they do have other options and whatnot available. You can get a pintle hitch attachment for these. You can get big D-ring shackles, all sorts of stuff that you can get that has the same design here. And you're able to just store them in your toolbox in the bed of your truck, or if you have back seat with the under storage compartment, you can store them in there. Leaving your hitch locked into your receiver on the truck, then if you need a certain attachment, you just pull it out from your toolbox or from underneath your back seat, attach it in there in 15 seconds, do what you gotta do, and you're on your way. But seriously guys, this thing must weigh like 50 pounds or something. It is solid, it is beefy, and can we just take a second to appreciate the quality of this American-made hitch with these fine welds. <laughs> Now that you guys got a nice up close look at this fine bulletproof hitch that's sitting in the box, we need to get it mounted on the 2016 6.7 liter Cummins. Let's go. We're gonna hand the camera off to my boy here and give him, we're just, we got things falling over here. Never mind that. We're gonna hand the camera off to my boy over here and he is gonna do some filming. Let's see how he does. There you go, young Padawan. So what I picked up for a pin right now is this uh, Reese pin. It is a locking pin, supposed to be weather resistant, has this nice rubber cap that is a very, very snug fit to go over the end and hopefully keep the elements and the weather and stuff out of it. Lord knows we need that here in New York with all the salt and crap on the roads during the winter time. But Bulletproof also makes some nice pins and I'm going to order a couple of those so that I can lock the hitch into the receiver and then also lock the ball into the hitch. And I know that all that stuff will be safe and we won't be having sticky fingers while we're out and about stealing the stuff off my truck. But for now, we're gonna use this because I'm impatient, don't feel like waiting to make that order and then have them shipped to me and I wanna get this thing on the truck. All right, let's go put this big hog on the truck. God, you're beautiful. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, baby. Don't mind the truck, it is filthy. We're in New York, the winters are terrible. She needs a bath. This is uh, gonna be the most beautiful, cleanest thing on the truck. Oh yeah, she looks good. All right, we got our pin. Let's go ahead and slide this through. There we go. And she's good. We gotta put our little condom over the end of it and we're in business.
good to go. And we have our two and five sixteenths two inch ball mounted into the channel of the bulletproof hitch and it's good to go. Got the corrosion resistant pins in there with the cotter pins and that is what the final product looks like. Man, she sits low, but that is what the measurements told me I needed was an eight inch drop hitch. There is a formula and some measurements that you need to take to complete the formula and it tells you what size drop hitch you'll need and basically what you do is measure the width of your receiver which obviously mine is two and a half inches and then with your truck on a level roadway or in your driveway on level ground you're going to measure up from the ground to the bottom of the receiver tube right here and then whatever that height is you go on to Bulletproof's website and you find it on the chart and it'll tell you what size drop hitch you need. And mine measured 22 inches up to the bottom of the receiver, which told me I needed an eight inch drop hitch. And that's to keep the trailer level once you put the coupler on it and you had the trailer all hooked up. So we'll have to test it out hopefully here pretty soon and see how it sits on there with it in its lowest position in the eight inch drop. And we might have to test it in a six inch position and kind of see how the trailer sits as far as being level or not once it's all hooked up. That is gonna be it for this video guys. I'm gonna wrap it up here. We finally got the bulletproof hitch installed. Not as if it took that much time to do it. We just got it in the mail yesterday but man I am so pumped to have that like I said they are gorgeous definitely check out the link to bulletproof hitches down below in the video description go browse through their website see what they have for different hitch options and different accessories that you can mount into your hitch I'm telling you it is probably one of the fastest hitch changing systems that you will be able to get and it's made right here in the good old USA down in Florida. Damn, speaking of Florida, I might have to make a trip down there pretty soon. Make sure you're subbed with those post notifications on so you don't miss any of the new fourth gen content coming your way here very soon. We have a few other rather large installs to get done here in the very near future. The Air Dog 165 lift pump, we have our ISPRO EV2 gauges, and also the PPE transpan and diff cover, which I'm actually about to transition over to right now so I can continue getting those painted and getting them ready to install on the Cummins. Hit that like button on your way out. Check out all the links down below in the video description, especially those ones for everyone who has helped us out here on the channel. Air Dog, PPE, ISPRO, Bulletproof Hitches, Beans Diesel, all those guys, everyone's down there in the video description. Go check them out, and I'll see you guys again soon with another new video. Peace.